you have this question right here it's asking uh, let a is equal this one and they have given the points right here and we have to find determinant a a question and find a inverse using cofactor and then grammar rules to find x2 so let's start from the a so in the a they are asking determinant a so to find the determinant a simply i have to put a plus plus minus plus right here so if i do that and bring the values here it's going to be uh, ad minus bc so 0 times 3 is going to be ad minus bc so a b c d so ad ad minus bc right that's how we do and uh, we, since i take this one i had eliminate all the vertical components of this uh, horizontal component of this then these four things are remaining so i have to simply find ad minus bc in this so it's going to be 0 times 3 is going to be 0 then this is minus 1 so this is just minus 1 then we have minus minus 1 it's going to be plus 1 times uh, here then horizontal vertical component is gone horizontal is gone 1 0 1 3 so 1 times 3 is going to be 3 3 minus 0 is going to be just 3 in the third one it's going to be minus 1 so it's going to be minus 1 then uh, vertical horizontal eliminated so we have 1 times 1 here and 0 times so it's just 1 then if I calculate it's going to be negative 1 plus 3 negative 1 so it's just going to be 1 so this is my answer for the A question then the B question is asking find A inverse using cofactor method so in order to find A inverse using cofactor method there is a formula for that A inverse is equal to 1 over determinant A times cofactor A transpose so this is a cofactor method so, so so we have a determinant A that is 1 over 1 and we have to find cofactor A transpose so to find cofactor A transpose we have to simply uh, do everything like to find cofactor first of all I list so it's going to be cofactor 1 1 cofactor 1 2 cofactor 1 3 cofactor 2 1 2 1 2 2 2 3 3 1 3 2 3 3 so I had to find every single one of them so let's I, I show you some of them so for for example 1 1 so if I have to find 1 1 it's going to be there's a general formula for this it's going to be negative 1 to the power of 1 plus 1 so whatever we are finding is going to be 1 plus 1 then determinant of that one so when I find determinant of 1 1 so it's it's going to be same as determinant like uh, 1 1 mean this this is because first row first column that's why it's 1 1 so when I take this one I have to just eliminate all the vertical components of this and horizontal components on of this and only thing remaining is these four values so I, I list them it's going to be 0 1 1 3 then the my value is going to be 0 times 3 minus 1 is going to be just minus 1 but in this case so we have to make sure like the we have to consider this power so negative 1 to the power of 2 so since we have the even power it's going to be positive but in case if you have an odd power uh, negative 1 to the power of odd, odd power is going to be negative right so since we have this positive power it's just going to be multiplication of 1 therefore it's going to be just minus 1 for example if I do cofactor 2 1 cofactor 2 1 2 1 means second row first column so if I take this one all the horizontal component eliminated all the vertical component is eliminated so minus 1 minus 1 1 3 is left so I have to simply it's going to be minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 1 then determinant is going to be uh, when I eliminate this one so second row first column right so if I eliminate all these things minus 1 minus 1 1 3 is left so it's going to be minus 1 minus 1 1 3 if I fi find AD minus BC for this AD is going to be what minus 1 times 3 is going to be minus 3 and uh, BC is going to be 1 times minus 1 is going to be just minus 1 so minus 3 minus minus 1 is going to be plus 1 right so minus 3 plus 1 is going to be plus 2 uh, minus, one, minus 3 plus 1 is going to be minus 2 right minus 2 then we have minus 1 to the power of 3 therefore it's going to be positive 3 because this in this time we have an odd power therefore it's going to be a negative number so it's going to be negative 1 then you have to multiply negative 1 by negative 2 you will get positive 2 so you have to do this for everything everything 1 1 1 2 1 3 
3123. You have to do for everything and find each value to find cofactor. So when you find the cofactor for everything, then you have to list it as it is like cofactor of this is cofactor of A. So list it so in you if you find cofactor one one you have to exactly place in one one row one column one so it's only minus one here since we have found two it's here but you if you do this one for everything it's going to be minus one then we have minus three three minus two then we have one minus one one so this is my cofactor a but we need cofactor a transpose so to do the transpose i have to simply flip it like so this is my first row so i have to simply flip it into column so if I flip it into column it's going to be minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 and then if I flip the second row into column it's going to be 2 3 minus 1 if I th flip the third row into column it's going to be minus 1 minus 2 1 so this is a cofactor A transpose since uh, the question is asking find the A inverse I have to simply multiply this one by 1 over determinant A so 1 over determinant A is going to be 1 over 1 my multiply by minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 1 and if you say if you see 1 over 1 is just 1 so if you multiply this one this is just going to be the same number so my final answer is minus 1 2 minus 1 minus 3 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 1 so this is my answer this is a final answer for the B question and the C question is asking use Kramer's rule to solve the four solve for x2 only in the system x is equal to b where b is equal to minus 4 4 11 so in this kind of question what we have to do is we have to like whatever the things they are asking to find for example in this case x2 right so what we have to do is we have to switch this b number actually this b number is result of this one it's like if it's if this is a system of equation b is going to be minus 4, 4 this is equal to this like that's going to be this right then what you have to do is we have to switch the b with the value they are asking to find in this case they are asking to find x2 so i am going to switch the b value with the x2 so it's going to be determinant of in the top determinant of 1 1 0 they are asking to find x2 so i have to switch b with the x2 so second row is this second column is x2 so i have to switch it it's going to be minus 4 4 11 then uh, others are going to be the same it's going to be minus one one three that's it then finally i have to divide this one by original original form so it's going to be one one zero one one zero minus one zero one minus one one three but if you see in the previous question the first question we have found the determinant of a already so i can simply put that value right here but i have to find the top determinant to find the determinant I have to simply put plus minus plus and if I do that it's going to be 1 times uh, minus uh, no, 1 times AD minus PC so it's going to be 12 times mm, 12 minus 11 then it's minus minus 4 is going to be plus 4 so it's going to be 1 times 3 3 minus 0 is going to be just 3 then we have uh, minus 1 minus 1 times 1 times 11 is going to be 11 and 4 times 0 is going to be just zeros therefore it's multiplied by 11 and divided by just 1 because determinant a we have found already it's here it's 1 then what you have to do is I have to simply find this value if you find the value is going to be 1 um, just so first of all this is 4 3 and this is 11 right so 4 3 is 12 12 minus 11 12 minus 11 is 1 so 1 time 1 plus this is 12 then minus 11 so 30 minus 11 is going to be just 2 so x2 value is 2 this is my final answer i hope you guys like this video see you next time